Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back once again. It's me, Molt. Super stoked to be here with you guys today with a new video on a new game called Super Senso. It is a head-to-head -head PvP style game. I'm going through the tutorial of it right now. They reached out um, to Nick and I and, and some other people and were like, hey, you guys want to try out our game? I loved it, so I was like, of course I do. Let's go ahead and we're going to go through the tutorial so you guys can kind of get a look at what the game is like. Um, so again, it's, it's turn-based, which is awesome, but again, this is going to show us that. So, directive, assume command. I'm going to assume command of this guy, target the enemy, boom, and boom, you double tap. It'll show a skull over its head if you're going to end up um, taking it out. And then now we can take our Senso and we can strike right here uh, as well. So we can do a little bit of damage right there, move on, in turn, and now it's going to be the other player's turn. Again, we're just going through this so that I can show you guys um, what's going on and the fact that um, there is a tutorial to the game that you got to go through at the beginning. Super tank attack. <laughs> right here we've got portals, guys, and those are kind of the life force of your um, of your sa of your gate. It says our Senso gate um, must not be destroyed. So you got to protect that. The whole thing in this game is to protect your gate. Um, to win, we must destroy theirs first. Yes, that's true. Um, first, let us just demolish this super tank. So he's got a super tank right there in the front going up against us, but it is our turn. Um, you guys can read all of this as well as we go through here. Um, so at the bottom, we've got a whole lot that we can use. We're going to go ahead and drag this chopper out here, and you can put it wherever you want to. Um, they all have different levels of where they can spawn, and then we can go ahead, deploy it right there, and then do some damage to this um, tank. Excellent. Guardian will take it from here, so now my Guardian can finish it out again. You can see that skull on top of its head, and we can come in here and do a little bit of work to it. You know what I'm saying? You still have some Senso gel left, so that's what we're going to use. That's that green stuff down at the bottom. Let's deploy a mortar. So we're going to click this. It's going to show us where we would deploy it. It's got a lot of range, so you can deploy it there, and it'll do some damage across the map. So it said the mortar can either move or attack during a turn, so we can choose to just attack with it, which is probably what I'll do. I don't know if I'll necessarily move it anywhere. Um, our enemy, Phantosmos Forces, is going after us right here. He's attacking our gate, which, again, you got to be careful about. Um, so we're taking heavy damage, but Guardian has a plan. Oh, the Guardian has a plan, guys. What could it be? Take out their extractor to earn a combo strike. So up at the top, you can see those little um, yellow dots. Those are uh, where you get your combo. So we're going to deploy a light tank, and we're going to bring it over here, and it's going to spawn and do a little bit of damage. Um, and then we're going to be able to use our other units, like our Guardian, to finish that off again. You can see that skull, which means it is going to take it out. And now we get a combo strike right there. We now have a combo strike armed. Awesome. So what does that mean? But we can use the mortar to increase the combo for even more damage. All right. Um, so we'll select the mortar, and then we will hit right here. And you can see uh, how it does damage to things. It has an AOE, so it's going to uh, damage multiple units. And then we're able to do that. It says, now that's mortar combat in turn to fire. So we got those combo points, and we're going to attack their gate and do a good amount of damage to it. Again, this isn't real gameplay right now. It's just the tutorial kind of showing you guys, explaining things. Thanks for showing what epic fail <laughs> looks like. That's funny. Okay. Um, and they're attacking our gate, and he's going to use his combo. It's not going to take it out. It's going to take us down to 36. It's now our turn. Um, you, they seem to have the upper hand, but there is always a way. That's definitely true. Um, let's keep going. We need to reach their Senso gate, okay? Um, the wall of vehicles is blocking, so you can use vehicles to block as a defense. The tanks are armored, but Striker is vulnerable. Uh, take it out, and the path for the Senso gate will be clear. So, uh, looks like we're going to use our um, light tank right here, and we're going to head over, do a little bit of damage right there, deploy a chopper, and he's going to clear the... Oh, we're going to go right here with him, and then tap, so you can... Go. You can choose where you're going. You don't always have to go right in front of it. Um, and then we can take him out and clear a path. The path is clear. Now our Senso, we can bring him over here. And he's going to get over there and do a little bit of damage. And then uh, <laughs> you basic fool Phantasmo cannot be beaten. And that's what you think. That's what you think. Basic will own your bases. Commence combo strike. So, in turn and light him up. So we're going to end our turn there, and there's going to be enough damage from the combo to take out his gate. 
Apparently this isn't the last that we're gonna see of Phantasmo. But there is the tutorial, guys. You're gonna walk through it as well um, by yourselves, which is gonna be uh, good. Obviously you've seen it here, so you know what's going on, but now you have a little bit of a heads up. This is the newest version of the game, guys. Um, they just re-downloaded it, just sent us a new link, and they have adjusted it a lot. Commander, your star power earned you a promotion. Nice. Time to wage war. Promotions unlock new cards and battlefields. Um, so we're just going to keep on going here through the tutorial. A victory also means loot. Nice. Let's open up this chest. And uh, guys, we're going to also open up a whole bunch of these things in a little bit, show you all a lot of the um, different units that there are in the game. Um, we've got a, a bomber. I don't know why I just tapped through those so quick. And then star shot. Um, but again, we're going to open up some of the best uh, some of the best ones in the game uh, some of the best chests to see what we can get in a little bit looks promising let's see what we got so we'll head over here and um, see what we have got looks like we got enough cards to upgrade the grunt so we'll go ahead upgrade him again this is just the tutorial guys and uh, each upgrade makes the card stronger yep now let's see it in action okay so we're gonna head over here enter my name we are going to be molt of course ladies and gentlemen Ooh, I like that font a lot. Um, uh, yeah, that guy <laughs> that guy kind of looks like me now there in the bottom left. That's what I'm talking about. Commander, time to put your skills to the test. Fire away. Uh, area damage will not hurt friendly troops. So let's get this rolling and see how things can go. It's going to load, and we'll jump into the battle. All right, so you guys can see uh, right here uh, just... I love the graphics. It's flat design. It looks really, really good. And the cool thing is, once we get in here, you can... Uh, first of all, there's emotes in the game, which is hilarious to me. Um, that we have emotes as well that we can use. Um, you just click up here and we say, ah. <laughs> or we say uh, anything else. But if you take your two fingers, guys, you can see that we can change our perspective as we play. Um, so it says... Uh, so we're going to drag out, I'm going to drag out a mortar and just put it back here. Uh, I'm going to put it right here and see if we can shoot over. And then we're going to um, grab right here. And let's just go ahead and come uh, this direction and we will end our turn. Now obviously it's going to be Agent Smith's turn. Look at these hands, they're so cool. The battlefields are really, really awesome. Uh, again, the graphics. Graphics is what is what does it for me. Uh, in a game. So we've got our grunt right here guys. Um, there's his health and everything and then we've got our chopper right here and then obviously we can come in here and see our mortar. You can always click on those and see what you've got going. Uh, I'm gonna hit right here, yes, because that's gonna do double damage over there. And let's, why don't we spawn a, uh, a chopper, come out over here and then uh, we'll go and take him out as well. And again, that's just going to keep adding those combo points for us as we play and progress. Um, what do we got going here? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? He's spawning a bunch of stuff. Agent Smith, you jerk. Um, let's go. Let's shoot the mortar again uh, right over here. And I'm going to use the chopper one more time. No, I kind of want to do... Let's use, um, so right here we've got a jet, guys, that we can use, and we're going to use that, take it out, and bring our chopper over here to attack this, and then bring over our Sinso as well. That's going to give us a lot of combo points right there that at the end of our turn are automatically going to hit their gate. Um, so there's a good amount of damage right there. Honestly, after this next turn, depending on uh, what we do, how we play, we should be able to take it out with combo points. Uh, <laughs> he's going to go ahead and retreat right there. Uh, can we bring any of these all the way over? No, we cannot. I'm going to go ahead, come right here. Ooh, there's some combo points for us. Head here. Yes, we're going, we're going all out on the gate. Again, this is going to give me some combo points. And we'll just bring our mortar out. And I'm just going to bring a tank out for good measure. And that might be it. No, that's not it. We don't have it. We'll have it in the next one. Agent Smith is down to 58. And uh, <laughs> has nothing on the field. That's all that he has now. Uh, <laughs> all the cards uh, and units have different abilities, obviously, throughout the game. But we can just go ahead and, uh, and finish this match right here and then head back to the home screen. Guys, we're back at the tutorial again. Check out. Your quests like to see what to do next. Earn rewards. Okay, yes, that sounds great. We'll go ahead and click over here. Collect. 
Um, it's, it's cool they have they have quests. I feel like quests in games are very important to me. Um, and we'll go ahead and unlock this thing. It's only going to take 15 seconds for that chest to unlock. We can see some of our new cards over here. And then we'll be back uh, in a little bit, guys, with um, a whole bunch of special cards that I'm going to get out of chests that we are going to end up um, kind of showing you some strategies on. Guys, we are back in the game, ready to go here. Um, as you can see, I've got all of the cards. I hooked this up so that I could show you guys everything within the game. We've got the Reaper right here. Um, he is going to be our rare card that we're going to be using. You can only have one in your deck. Um, so the Reaper, look at those graphics. They're really cool. It's all flat design, which I love. He's going to be um, our main rare that we're going to be using today. But first, guys, we're going to go open up a couple of chests, okay? So right up in here, we've got the Cosmic Chest. We already have all the cards, but I kind of want to show you all what it looks like to go through and open up cosmic chests. So we come in here, you can see we get ourselves some bike coins, um, and then we get a heavy. Nice, we already have all these cards again, but just wanted to show you guys just how many you get. 80 right there, 14 right here, 16 of the light tank, 17 or 70 of the grunt uh, right there at the end. Let's open up another one and see if we can get anything really cool out of these chests. So um, again, I really, really love the graphics in this flat design. I was, a, I was a designer before this, if you guys didn't know that. Flat design is one of my favorite type of designs. Um, where there's like there's a lot of detail in it, but it's very uh, structured and there's a lot of lines I've always enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, so we uh, we've opened up a couple of these You guys know what it looks like to open up a cosmic chest now Let's head back and we're gonna go ahead and battle again. This is my deck right here that I'm using I've only leveled the things up a little bit don't want to go too crazy with it But we're gonna jump into a battle and uh, <clears throat> The our, our sweetheart right here says new battlefields await, but only once you've acquired enough Star power, okay, I don't know about this, but I definitely want a lot of star power. Let's jump in here as it loads turn orders on <clears throat> so um, What we've got right here guys is um, we've got the obviously the gate that we talked about earlier and then the extractor buildings which you can uh, destroy to get more combo points especially uh um, as we as we progress and want to get more combo points to do more damage So we've got our Reaper right here his ability is if he kills somebody he can attack again Okay, which is really cool. That is definitely going to help us out a lot. I'm gonna grab um, So the other guys that I'm using I've got the sapper right here. I'm going to uh, Spawn one of those over here, and I'm gonna spawn another one over here They're cool because they do aoe damage, so they do a lot of damage in one area um, and Then they also I can go ahead and oh no, I don't end my turn yet because I'm gonna move him uh, I'll move my Reaper back over here now in my turn so the sapper is cool because even though when he attacks he gets destroyed as well um, he does a lot of AoE damage which works really really well um, so we're gonna wait because again I want to put together the special ability uh, that the Reaper has and make it work really well or can I come over here I cannot um, I'm gonna bring out a mortar and throw it down right here um, because really it could work with the mortar as well. Let's bring our Reaper over here so that he can go back behind that extractor building, deal some damage to it. Um, and I'm going to bring the sapper right over here and we'll go ahead and just end our turn right there. I know I didn't move everybody, but that's fine. You don't always have to move everyone. Um, so I got to try and get a couple of them in one area. Here's a good, here's a good position for us right here. If we can get our Reaper over to that chopper, it doesn't look like we can. Um, so I am going to come right here and attack uh, this extractor building, get a little bit of damage done there. Let's go ahead and do this, and you'll see again the damage that he does. I'm gonna throw it. Uh, I'm gonna throw it. He's gonna end up taking himself out, but that's fine because he's gonna do all that other damage as well. The extractor building is done. We are going, can I, uh, yep, so I'm gonna do a little bit of damage to this extractor building, bring over another one of those sappers. He actually can't make it there. Um, and I'm going to bring out, let's just bring out another mortar right here, and then we're gonna wait a little bit. And now this is, oh, we're gonna do so much damage. <laughs> we're gonna do so much damage uh, to the gate over there. But it's okay. We didn't take it out. It's not over yet. And now I should, hopefully, if he spawns someone else close to this, we'll be able to show you guys what the Reaper uh, can really, really do. So uh, if we grab the Meteor and throw it down. No, it won't work. Um, it might. No, we, we can still do this. It's not going to take out that chopper. So we'll do this. And then watch this. We'll take our Reaper. And he's going to kill right here. And then he can actually attack again. And obviously it's not going to kill his Sinso, but it is going to do some good damage to it. And then we can uh, attack right here with our mortar. And I'll just bring this guy over here. 
our sapper and then we're going to end our turn kind of hang out and this one should be in the bag in just a second as we continue progressing through this now guys again we can come up in here and i can say well played to him <laughs> i can uh, click back on there and say gg or you can say oops etc etc it looks like it's my turn right here as i'm uh as i'm throwing the bm over there um let's do um let's let's do this so i'm going to bring the mortar can I attack over there with that? No, okay. So I'm gonna go right here and watch this. This should, I'm pretty sure that this will work if we take out this building, which we will. Boom, right there. And then once again, another attack by the Reaper. And then that is gold for us, guys. That was so much damage right there. Let's just bring all this over. And honestly, I don't even really have to do anything else because that's going to be the game for us. So that's why I like the Reaper combo with other splash damage units because the fact that it can, uh, if something's already damaged, it'll take it out and move on to the next target. There's a little bit of a victory for us. Let's jump back into another battle and see what we can make happen, all right? Jumping back into another battle with uh, <laughs> one of my favorite maps to play on here with the hands coming out on the enemy's side. I don't believe that there was, it's like a statue. You can see the head over on our side. Really, really cool. Again, the graphics in this game are ridiculous. Um, but it looks like it's going to be our turn first. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spawn our mortar over here. And you know what, why don't we bring our Senso, uh, ooh, should we, uh, I'm not gonna move in that, that, that's a little bit dangerous for us. I will go to the back of it. Um, and we'll, we'll end our turn right there. You gotta be careful moving forward too much because if they take out your Senso, they're gonna get a lot of uh, power and a lot of combo points and they're gonna be able to do a lot of damage to your gate. So you gotta be careful uh, whenever you're bringing that out. So I, I will go ahead and jump back here just to deal a little bit of damage um, to that extractor building. And then let's go right here and, oh man, I wish I could just attack that square, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to. I'm gonna launch that over. And I'm gonna bring out a couple more of these sappers. These are probably, honestly, one of my favorite units in the game, uh, just because they're a lot of fun and they can damage multiple troops. Now, they don't live that long, obviously, because after they attack, they're done for, but they do work really well, um, especially uh, in connection with the Reaper that we are using. Um, so actually, I'm gonna save up for this meteor here, so we're not gonna use any more of our gel this round. And I am going to uh, move our mortar right here. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna bring over this sapper right here, take this out and uh, nice. Just took that out, move our reaper back over here. We're gonna kind of play this one a little bit slower. Maybe I will, I am going to use, I am gonna um, spawn one more sapper guys because we'll get enough gel at that next, um, in the next round right here. So we'll go ahead and end this turn again and uh and should be able to honestly take this guy out pretty soon shouldn't be too hard for us right here um let's see what kind of moves he's doing bringing that guy over not doing too much not doing too much as long as he keeps some of them close together then our reaper should be able to go to town uh, especially if we can get a meteor down so let's see what we can make happen right here can my reaper make it over to his sin so it can so i'm going to go right here deal uh, a good amount of damage. It is going to um, damage two of them and keep them alive, but watch this, our Reaper is gonna come over. He's gonna attack right here. Oh, and I'm not able to move him over to the other guy. He's out of range, um, but our Mortar is gonna be able to uh, deal a good amount of damage right there. And then we've got so many combo points here to use, guys. This is, this is ridiculous. This guy is in a lot of trouble. Boom, getting more combo points right here. All of the damage is mine to do. Uh, let's go ahead and end the turn right there. And as you can see, it's in slow motion. That means that the game is over. I love this combination with Reaper and with a lot of splash damage. It works really, really well for us. That is going to be it for the episode, guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed Super Sin. So again, make sure that y'all check it out down in the link below. Awesome working with these guys. These graphics are amazing. Everything about the game is awesome. I love we can come in here. We can inspect. Uh, <laughs> we can inspect. I love the sapper. He's so ridiculous. But hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure that you leave a like on the video and I will see y'all in the next episode. All right. Peace.